Hi and welcome. This is Gail. Now, I fell a little bit behind on Roxy's Weekly Challenges. I did film last week's number 26, so let me show you some of those that are finished up. So, I did not do the small ones on camera, but I thought I would show you just how cool they are. Aren't they sweet? I really didn't think this floral paper was going to look as great as it turned out. And this was turning a postcard into an envelope. In case you had forgotten Roxy's challenge for, I believe it was week 26. So let me just refresh with these again real quick so you can see all that you can do with these. Just a real treat. Postcards into envelopes. Yes, indeedy. Mostly I added label stamps and maybe some other little flower or bird or what have you. And the fronts of these were already very pretty, so why mess with success, right? So you can see I did quite a few of those. Now I did add these two to the front of this one. It seemed kind of plain. Especially when you look at how busy that is, right? Oh, my goodness. And then I did one that was in this direction. I did add a stamp there. Just so you can see what that looks like. Okay. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and even dozen of those. So I am definitely stocked up with those. Pardon the shadows this morning. Okay, and now let's move on to. Oh, let me show you these real quick. These are not altered. Um, these are just regular little envelopes that I found on Barbara's channel, 49 Dragonflies. And they are so tiny and so cute. I just had to share them with you. So it's the front and the back of an envelope. And then you can put little goodies inside. And there's really not much on the back, but... It still gives you that opportunity, and you can really use it as a little pocket or an envelope to stuff somewhere in a journal. And then they had these little postcards that went with, so, yeah. Apparently, I have two of each. So, anyhow, just wanted to share those. I will put her info in the box below. Okay, so next up, you will see this is the week 23. I'll have to double check the numbers. Either 23 or 24, and it's the Hidden Pockets one. So I went to just make a sample, and I got two of them, and I couldn't quit, and then I forgot forgot to turn on the camera so I'll make a couple more with you but as you can see I kind of went nuts so this one I did some stamping with the new stamp my daughter found at a garage sale for me and it had a little flaw but I don't think you can notice it on this so hidden pockets I put something here to hold this flap down. 
I don't know. You may or may not need it, especially if you tuck it somewhere. But if you're planning on putting it down on a page and using this as a pocket, this might keep flapping open. So this way I took a little butterfly that was glossy accented and put that there. And then the object is you have a little pocket here and a little pocket here. And then you can journal here. This is just some vellum that had little gold splotches on it. Okay. Then there's this version. Really was trying to use some washi tape. I have a lot of washi tape, and I just don't use it. So, and it helped to reinforce the sides there. And here are your pockets. Okay. Here's another one. This is using graph paper. So each one of these, the first one was book page. This was like a construction paper, stationery, whatever, graph paper. And again, these little pockets are reinforced with some washi. This one is a real plain one. But it gives a lot of writing area, and then your hidden little pockets in there. And again, I did nothing on the backs. And then this one, it's got some flowers. It's a little bigger version using ledger and your pockets there. Okay. Then this one, using a piece of scrap that I had, this might have been a 6x6 six six or an 8x8. Eight eight. I feel like maybe a 6x6 six six piece of scrapbook paper. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. I like that jottings. Okay, so you have the little pocket. Yep. And... That holds that flap down. Yeah. And this one, you could use as a floating pocket even. You wouldn't have to glue it down. So, let's make, let's see, I already have here. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I went a little nuts. Okay, so there are those. And now... Let's make just a few more. Okay, and I've already set my timer. I may regret that. But hey, what can I say? Give me less time here. Now, I did pull some things out. I'll show you how the pocket is made. This one is using a book page. So, your book page turned long ways. And you can have this flap on it either side and I thought I've done them all with a flap on this side I should perhaps do one with a flap on the other side so basically you have your book page you fold it in half sort of but you want to leave an inch or two over here for your little flap okay and then all you're going to do is once you folded it, take, this is about an inch, but you can make this pocket as deep as you want it. I could have gone up further and made it two inches. At any rate, whatever you like. And then you go in and you clip a little V off either side so when the pocket folds up, they're not going to interfere with each other or the flap. Then I went ahead and I've distressed this. And so, yeah, let's get busy. Oops. Okay, get all my goodies together here beside me. And, yippers. Hope everybody's doing well. 
I am recording this on Tuesday, the day after our long holiday weekend for the 4th of July here in the States. So it was quite a noisy one. Lots of firecrackers going off. Kind of sounded like a bit of a war zone. But hopefully the bulk of that is behind us now. Lots of big firecracks being firecrackers being set off in backyards here and we have a lot of trees in our backyard. So a little worrisome because it's been a bit dry. I'm actually surprised that they're still allowed to shoot off those big ones in a neighborhood because of the fire risk and it certainly is awful for the dogs and cats. They don't like it one bit. But it is what it is. So uh, people kind of needed to blow off a little steam after being cook, cooped up for a year, right? So we got to cut them some slack. Okay, now in here, what I've gathered is this. And I, whoops, want to undo that real quick because I see what I had done. I had already gotten that ready to glue down in there. So let's do it. down low. I'm really struggling with my sinuses this morning. My son and I did go to a friend's house for a little barbecue yesterday, but it was pretty hot and windy out yesterday, so we were indoors mostly. And was very nice. And we didn't have nearly the racket last night that we've had in the previous nights for the fireworks. So that made it a little easier to go to sleep. So we'll take it. Okay, let's get this. I see I prepped all of this, but it's been a couple weeks now since I prepped this. I was going to get it done before I left on vacation, but then I didn't get to it. So, yeah, that's a little crooked. Not super bad. But a little. Okay. There. So that is for journaling. Okay. Now I'll re glue these. I was lucky to get that off because that old book paper really brittle. And it had already. The glue had already been doing its job. And I am using Barely Art Glue. I much prefer that, even to glitter glue. The advantage is it gives just a little bit more time to be able to move things around than the glitter glue. Okay. Now, which side is this for? Is it for this side or the inside? I'm going to go with it's for the outside. <laughs> Let's just do this since I have this out real quick. Hope everybody's doing well. 
feeling well and enjoying a sense of freedom to be out and about a bit. I really haven't been going out that much. No need to. And my grandson and daughter come and usually spend a couple of days, so that's really lovely. I totally enjoy that. Okay, now, bend that over. You can see this was a book page for the index in an older book. Okay, then we're going to put this on. Woohoo! Back to the glue stick. No need to use that glitter, that barely art glue. It is not cheap. But I find I use that instead of Fabri-Tac now. Because I can't stand the smell of Fabri-Tac. Or the price, so... Fabri-Tac or 3-in-1 or whatever it goes by. They're all seemingly the same thing. I dislike how with the Fabri-Tac you end up with if you overflow and have a little bit too much glue, you end up with that shiny mess that you have to try to erase off your paper. That's a little frustrating, you know? Okay, now we have that. And we have this. There we go. And I just put that on the wrong side, didn't I? Uh-huh, sure did. Should have put it here. It's because I'm doing it reverse, you know? So I'm not quite used to it. And I had this sheet of stamps, so yeah. Okay, well, how can we remedy this? What do I have? that I might could use. I have a piece of this. So, yeah, let's just do it. Shall we? Go here. And here. And we'll fold this up. I can't believe I did, well, I can believe I did that, but I don't think there's any way to salvage that. There's no way that's going to come off, I don't think. Let me see. I don't think so. Now, this book page is pretty absorbent. Yep. And I just got way too much glue in there. Yeah, once something's down on this book page, that's it. Oh, I can't believe I did Well, I can believe I did it, but... Mad at myself for doing it. Okay, so. Okay, we did this. This way. Okay. And over here. You see, I love measuring so much. But I would much rather go this route, too. Okay. Now, rather than cut 
rather than measure, you know. And I could have used my chair ruler, but I didn't. And don't ask me why. But when we improvise, okay. And now. Just a little crooked up here, isn't it? This could be interesting. How bad is that? That's good enough. Okay. Press it <laughs> and move on our faux pas. I don't have any more of that scrap that I used on the other side and glued down erroneously, but this will work. This goes with this, so it's all good. Okay. Back to the glue stick. This is a little oohoo. But I actually think I prefer the Scotch glue permanent on the glue stick as opposed to oohoo. Even. Okay, okay. There. Okay. Now, let's see if we can get this right. Oh, yes, I have some other little goodies over here. See the beauty everywhere. Okay, so this is going to be our little thingy here. Right, so let's put that on. We're gonna just put it on half so the other half is free. For right now, that and that. Where shall we put jottings? See the beauty everywhere. Maybe here, and then this little number here. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now the fun begins with the stickers trying to get them. Separated. Ugh. Okay, let's try this side. Whoops, got it. Okay. And I did distress some of it, so there. Okay, 
everything's already been distressed just to save time in case you're wondering so When that's closed, that's not going to show. Yep. Okay. There. Like so. And then this. Oh, let's hang on to that for a minute. Maybe I want to put this little stamp. Let's see. There. These are stickers, you see. But I will still put a little glue on them. Because you can't really trust that and of course I got carried away now do I want to put that up there shown off okay and we'll put jottings down here and this little doolally do I want it down there or do I want it let's put it up here for kicks okay well that's kind of cute yeah, and let's cancel our stamp, shall we? Here's this. Oops, stuck. And, yeah, what is it? Trying to see if I can see. That would be upside down. I think. Ugh. Confusing. Well, let's see what happens. There. Can you even read it? Yep, you can, New York. 2010. <clears throat> okay. So, one down. And look at that pretty bag. That just has to be a floating pocket now. And the inside. Okay. There we have that one. That one's cute. I like that. That turned out okay. Really like that paper, though. Okay, don't cry over spelt milk, Gail. Now, one thing I wanted to show you with one of these is, okay, this is a full sheet of paper. So what I did was I folded it in half. 
Now, I'm going to have a pocket that I'm going to fold up from the bottom. And I'm just going to fold it to that line. Why? Because I have something to fold to to get it straight. <laughs> okay, let's use the bone folder. And then let's try to do this again, huh? And then that's going to fold over like so. And then this will fold down like so. And let's get our bone folder. These are very easy to make. Now, what I am thinking is, I know I need to glue this down, but if I wanted to, so that I don't have to put a little tabby thing to hold it down, I could just take a little off here and a little there, and just glue around the top and this edge, and then tuck it inside here. You know what I'm saying? So let's see if I can glue it down properly, right? So over here and here. But On the end, I'm going to just glue up here, right? And I'll put a little down here, although I probably don't need to. Okay. go. Whoops. <laughs> Helps if you take the lid off, Gail. My son came in and that distracted me. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see if I can do this. Let's get this part done first. That. And then... Now that, and that. Okay, now, a couple of places I need to cut. There's that. So, just want to cut a little V up to that fold line. Just enough, really. That's probably way more than I need to cut off. But so when this comes up, they aren't going to hang up on each other. And then I'm going to do it over here to make it look equal. And then over here. And I don't even need this part, so let's go on bye-bye. Okay, now, that being said, did that just cut off our glue end of that pocket? Nope, we're good. So my thoughts are that this now will come over and go inside here to tuck if I take some off of the side. Oopsie. And so ooh, that might mess up my pocket though. Well, if it does, it does, right? 
Let's leave it for right now and see if it'll talk. My theory might have been just blown. Sky high. Or was cutting it off up there enough? No, it is going to have to come off of there a little bit. Okay. I could mess up my inside pocket of hair, but... Oh, well. Let's just do it this way. Because now I've thrown that piece out. So how badly is that messing me up? Okay. Maybe not such a good plan. But I had to try it, right? Oh, yeah, I could have cut less off. Okay, but let's see here. That'll work. Ugh, I've got glue everywhere. Okay, so that'll work. What does my pocket look like inside? Well, a little munged up, but not bad. I can glue that. Okay. So, there we have that. Let's do some distressing. And get that out of the way. All the way around. And then I'll glue that before I forget about it. I could have tea or coffee stained this paper first, but... I didn't. A lot of it's going to be covered up anyhow, right? Okay, so that's the outside. daughter calling. I don't have that many minutes left for this challenge. So I'm going to finish it up and then I'll give her a call. They're probably trying to decide whether they're coming up today or not. Okay, so this is a weird angle to glue, but hey. It is what it is. And it's all good. Okay. Ooh, I think I better, before I forget, distress here. Distress here. Oops. There. And there. Okay. So that's that. Now I just have to decorate. Right? So. Mm. What shall we use? Let's see what I have in my scraps. I've been working on an architecture journal trying to get that finished up, finally. 
And what other goodies? I've been working on a folio. So I have that too. And all of these came. I ordered some stamps. And these came with the stamps. And I thought those were kind of cute. So these might work for little journaling spots. Oh, my time is up already. Do you believe that? That is just craziness. Well, this might be kind of cute inside here. Huh. Is journaling spots. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, wait, got one already torn off. Ha, huh, I'm so silly. Forget what I'm doing. Just because I got distracted by that phone call. Okay. And here. Okay. There's our journaling spot. We can put whatever in there, little tickets, little ephemera, and now we have to decide what's going to go on here. Leftover piece from a kit. That I've been working on the folio. So let's oh, yeah. I just want to record long enough to finish this up. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So there's that. That will go over in there. And what do I have here? I have some butterflies already. And I have roses. So I have a little rose, and I have a little butterfly, and let's distress those. Okay. Any numbers or words? Let's see. Can't remember who this number sheet is from. But I feel like it's either Tracy Fox or Artie Mays. I'll look and find out and put it in my description box. I printed it on parchment. Okay, so we have that. We have that. Put that there. Hmm. What else do I have up here that I could add to it? Do I have any words? Oh, I have vintage. Let's distress that up. carried away with the distress and you'll forgive me right I think we can call that good enough and yeah okay and here we go those together it almost looks like a bouquet right oops what's this that's nothing <laughs> I do have this that I cut off could kind of put that there couldn't I I could I might just do that probably look better if it was Torn.
cut. not going to cover the whole thing, but it doesn't really need to. It's just there to give it a little pop of color. And where am I going to want my vintage to go? Kind of over in here, I feel like. Okay. We'll distress this. Now I could add more to this. But I was going to have it stand up a little bit, but I do want these to kind of tuck away. So let's see. Yep. Yep. Little pockets. And then it says room there on the side. And then that goes inside like that. So, all right. I think that's cool. So, we have just made two while we've been together. Oh, cute little butterfly I can use on something soon. Hmm. Alrighty. So, the two that we made, this one, and this one. Alrighty, well, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're enjoying Roxy's series and my take on it. And I'm trying to get caught up and then also move forward. She's already on to 27, and now I have two more to go, I think, before I am totally caught up. So get out there, find your joy, and be creative, make some art, and until next time, please stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.